hacking through the internet. Hackers use a method called port forwarding for this purpose. Step one, identify the target and its flaws. There are always flaws. In today's video, I'll show you how to gain remote access to target machines on different networks in two different locations using port forwarding. In the previous video, we successfully got a reverse connection from our target machine on the same network. Be sure to watch the first part to gather the necessary background knowledge. The video link will be in the first comment. And quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, aiming to teach ethical hacking and improve cybersecurity knowledge. All demonstrations are conducted on my own computer. No one was harmed, and I am not responsible for any misuse of this information. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the video till the end. So, let's get into the video soon. First, we need a rat creation software to create a payload. I am going to use async rat as mentioned in the previous video. In that video, we configured the payload to directly connect with our host machine's IP address because both computers were on the same network. For example, here we have the hacker, the first victim, and the second victim. If we send malicious file 1 to the first victim, it will connect with the hacker because both computers are on the same network. However, if we send the same malicious file to the second victim, it won't connect with the hacker because this IP address is a private IP address, and only the public IP address is exposed to the internet. In this case, we use a service called ngrock to forward the connection to an online server and then route that connection to our computer. So, we send malicious file 2 to the second victim, and on our side, we are listening on port 8808. If the second victim runs this file on their computer, the connection will first come to the ng-rock server, which is listening for a connection on port 22233, and then forwards that connection to our computer on port 8808. To do this, first, you need to go to the ng-rock website and sign up. Then you can download the file and run this command according to their instructions to set up. After you set up ngrock, type this command by specifying any port you like and hit enter. I prefer port 8808 and hit enter. Then it will provide you a link and a port like this. Now, open the async rat application to create a payload. So when you start the async rat, set the listening port to the port you typed in ngrock. In my case, it is 8808. Then start the application and go to the builder section. Now, paste the link and the port provided by ngrock in the DNS section and port section. Remember, when you paste the link here, you should paste only this part of the link. In the MISC category, tick anti-analysis and process critical. Finally, go to the build category and create the payload by specifying a location. So here we have our payload right here. If I run this on my own computer, you can see the connections being established. So if you run this payload on a different target machine in a different location, the connection will be received through the ngrock server like this. So if we right click on this received connection, you can literally do anything to the victim like accessing the webcam or data and controlling their computer. Before winding up the tutorial, I need to mention that I ran the payload by disabling Windows Defender. So if you need to learn how we can bypass Windows Defender and get a reverse shell connection from our target machines, leave a comment below, and I hope to teach you about that too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video. Goodbye for now.